welcome to my channel my name is Abdullah Kamel and I'll be showing you today how to plot standard deviation on any chart in Excel uh, the sample data that I chose today for you guys is the maximum temperature the maximum daily temperature actually uh, for the city where I live and the data we have uh, is for winter and spring and summer the standard deviation, uh, for those of you who don't know what it is, is a measure of how uh, spread out your data. And um, it's really um, useful when you use the standard deviation on a set of data that share the same environment. So for example, it's not fair and it's not going to give us something that we can actually use if, if we calculate standard deviation for all of these three seasons because winter, spring and summer they're actually different environment the minimum and maximum temperature for all of these seasons differ significantly so um, to plot something that we can use and be useful to us uh, let's select only winter so we filter the data out with uh, winter only so and then now uh, what we can do is we plot make our plot here for the daily temperature so we go at the bottom here we select it and since this is a um, time driven data so we can use the um, line chart and bear with me but we're gonna use the line chart with the markers and there is a reason for that uh, standard deviation when you plot it it really show nicely if you plot the data sort of uh, as uh, a scattered plot and of course this is line uh, line plot and a uh, line chart sorry uh, and it's not scattered but we can go around there and make it look like a scattered plot so we select uh, the line chart here we go to format and then we go to format selection as usual and then we go to uh, the fill in line here and under line we say we don't want the line no line so what we are left with is only uh, the data markers and now it looks much more like a scattered plot uh, from here on out things are a little bit easier and so to add standard deviation uh, you're just gonna go here to chart tools you go to design and then you go to add chart elements and then go to error bars at the bottom of the uh, error bar selection you can see here standard deviation once you hover the mouse uh, over it it will give you a preview how it's gonna look like and you can immediately see what's considered normal which is between these uh, ends here of this line and um, the data that outside of this um, range is what is considered uh, not normal so uh, in the city where I live obviously at one standard deviation and um, the uh, minimum temperature is normally like 17 oh, 16 probably and the maximum going to be around maybe 18 or 19 anything above that or below it is considered abnormal um, it looks okay at the moment but you can make it look much better so you select the uh, error bars as it's showing you now the uh, standard deviation and then what you can do is start increasing the width here so you increase it and you start looking at it there until you actually there's no kind of yeah like this and uh, still doesn't look nice with all of these things here so what do you uh, need to do you need to change the cap type from flat to square and now you have a, a nice range but still it's a bit dark so what you can do you can change the color and you go for a much lighter option here like this one 
and now your chart looks much much better you see what other option no that doesn't look good so yeah you, you can s settle with this I guess so you can give this chart and it will show immediately okay what has been shaded here is what's considered normal in winter in this city so um, um, and what's outside of this shaded area is those abnormal days on uh, an abnormal uh, temperature and that's how to plot standard deviation on any chart in Excel I hope you liked the video and found it useful and if you do please subscribe and come back again for more thank you very much